This is Judge Joe Brown, and we're listening to We All Be News. News Free Dixie for the 21st century. Turn the cabin stone. He was sitting here in the front row a little while ago. Where'd he go? Oh, come on in. Cabin Stone is the uh, Colonel of the Southern Confederate Veterans of Megan House Cavalry, and I'll let you tell him about the rest of your accolades. Good afternoon, everybody. It's been a beautiful day to be in the South. We are still free, exercising our First Amendment rights, honoring our ancestors fighting back against Yankee tyranny and political correctness. I bring greetings to you on behalf of the North Carolina Division Sons of Confederate Veterans in my capacity as Lieutenant Division Commander and the 3,000 men of North Carolina that stand with you here in spirit, if not in body. My daughter and I came 750 miles, rode all night, slept at the rest stop. We just got through doing a fundraiser for a two-year-old and raised about $21,000 from a good seizure dog yesterday. That's what the SCV and the Mexican House Cow will do. I just did come here. And they were gracious enough to have it. We are bored. We've been knowing it for a while. The Mexican House Cavalry, some Confederate veterans have been fighting. It appears to me as though the actions of a madman have set off the liberals, the left, and the enemies of the Confederacy, and our heritage is under attack. But it looks to me like they have awakened the sleeping giant. And I'm yeah. hoping that all the people that stand out here will be coming back in the future. I was told there were 24 people here protesting on Friday, and we've got 600 here today. What does that say? I'm also here bringing greetings on behalf of the General Nathan Bedford Forrest, Camp 803 out of Sanford, North Carolina, and the commander there as well. But most importantly for me, out here, I'm bringing you greetings on behalf of the Sons Confederate Veterans Mechanized Cavalry, the Special Forces of the SCV. Everybody saying, what can we do? You know, we got blindsided. This is our Pearl Harbor or our 9-11. You want to call it the Confederate 9-11 or Pearl Harbor or Alamo. We got attacked from left field for no reason. They should be uh, going after the U.S. flag or Hyundai cars or Gold's Gym t-shirts just as much as they're going after our flag because that boy had all those other things too. But all that stuff defies logic. They just wanted to pick on our flag. So what we've got to do is Join the Sons of Confederate Veterans, United Dollars of Confederacy, Order of Confederate Rose, Children of Confederacy, Flagger Organizations, Heritage Organizations, band together. Let's all fight on this same battlefield, work together, not against each other. Put aside petty differences. Take this battle forward, united. And I'm gonna give you one quote and then I'm gonna leave because I'm not that good a speaker. Whenever you see the enemy, no matter how few of you there are, show fight. If you run, they'll probably catch you. If you show fight, they'll think there are more of you and not push you half as hard. Lieutenant General Nathan Bedford Fox. <laughs> 